Hello everybody, Greg Stager here, your K-12 Tech Guy, with a video to show you how you can set particular programs to open specific files. And this is really useful, especially when something is not working quite the way you want it to work. I've seen examples where people will double click on a PDF and you know, you've got Microsoft Word busy trying to open that instead of Adobe Reader or something like that. Um, in my example that I'm going to show you, I have a JPEG photo, and we want to change the program that opens when we double click on that photo. So let's start taking a look. Let's go ahead and double click on this. I've got this up on the screen already. I've got this little picture of a bag of tortilla chips. Uh, it's actually an unopened bag from Walmart, and I just couldn't believe how empty <laughs> this looks. Um, I know they're sold by weight, not by volume, but this just seemed uh, ridiculously empty for an unopened bag. At any rate, when I double click on this JPEG, it opens with Windows Photo Viewer, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And uh, but, but let's say I want to have something else open this. I want to have uh, Photoshop open up the pictures every time I click on them because I want to do some work with my pictures. So let's go about figuring out how to do that. So let's close this, and I'm going to minimize this out of the way for now. We're going to go to our control panel. So I'm going to start come down here to the start button. We'll click on that, and then go to control panel. And then in this box that pops up, we want to find default programs. Now I understand that when you click on this, your view may not look like this. So you may have to come up here to view by and make sure that this says, you know, you can change it to small icons and then you'll get a list of icons rather than the little category view. And then choose default programs. And on the new screen that comes up, you're going to have a few options. And we want to choose this one here. Associate a file type or protocol with a program. Go ahead and click on that. And take a second to load up all these file types because there's a ton. Look at this list. If I start to scroll down here, you can see tons and tons of different file types. <laughs> Make you dizzy just trying to look at them, right? Um, so there's a lot of them out there. Many of them I've never heard of before. Um, but most of the time, you're not going to have to really work with them specifically. Um, so to find our way through this list, I'm just going to highlight this top one here. I know I want to work with a JPEG. So I'm just going to start typing dot jpg so dot jpg and boom it takes us right to this particular file type and you see there's a jpeg here as well so you know the process just repeat it uh, for changing other file types as well now the picture that i was trying to open is a jpg was the extension and you can see here it says windows photo viewer so we're going to go ahead and change that. I'm going to click on change program and you see we've got some recommended programs that it comes up with automatically. You can also look at some other programs if perhaps the program that you want to use is not in the list up here. You can do some other ones um, or, or browse for a specific file. In this case we'll just set it for Photoshop so we highlight that one and click OK and then this will refresh itself and now right here JPEG now it says it's associated with Photoshop CS3 awesome okay so let's close this and we'll close that and let's pull up our picture here again this time when I double click on the picture it should open up with Photoshop let's see if it works and there we go Photoshop's opening up so that's how you take care of this particular type of situation you can have pictures or other files or anything like that you can set a specific program to open them and you can work with them and do other things with them whatever your needs are you can customize the behavior of the computer based on what you want to do so I hope that this was helpful for you thanks so much have an awesome day